Hi, I'm Farmer Samson Ogbole, a modern farmer from Nigeria. Here we grow our plants without using soil because we believe that food production should not be seasonal because hunger is not. These are labs, but they aren't just any kind of laboratory. They are farm labs. And in here, this modern Nigerian farmer is revolutionizing agriculture by growing plants without soil. Well, while one can easily get carried away by the amount of plants and greens around, the method of producing them isn't the same as on a regular farm. The technology that we are looking at was something to ensure that food production was not seasonal, was not a season-based thing. So we needed to understand why was it that traditionally that food production had always been seasonal. We realized that it had to do with first a change in weather pattern per time, and this change in weather pattern would also go ahead and affect the soil, which would affect its ability to support the growth of plants. So we needed something that we could use to bypass, in quotes, that obstacle. And with that, we realized that the safest method was to go for soilless farming, a way to ensure that we could grow our plants without using soil, vis-a-vis -vis without depending on the weather to grow our crops. So when we say soilless farming in simple terms is growing plants without soil, and to understand how we are able to remove the soil part and replace it with non-soil, we need to first understand the role of soil, the function of soil. Now, soil traditionally has three functions for the plants. One is to give support, structural support to the plant. Number two is to help in what we call water retention. And number three is to help in aeration. Now, once we understood this basic fact about the functions of soil, all we needed to do was look for materials that can play similar roles, but it is not soil. So today we can use things like rice hull, as the rice bran, shaft from rice. We can use things like coconut coir. We can use things like vermiculite and perlite from rock. We can even use things like water and just create a structure to hold the plant in place and the plant will still grow. With a background in biochemistry, Samson merges his passion for science with agriculture using a system called hydroponics, a more sustainable method of farming. Hydroponics is basically growing plants without soil in a substrate rich medium. Now, hydroponics has different types. Aeroponics is a type of hydroponics. So when we say aeroponics, it simply means that we are growing the plant in a nutrient rich medium where the roots of the plants are suspended in air. We are not doing that here at the moment because of light constraint. So in aeroponics, we require 24 hours light. And because you know our light is awesome, so we had to look at the economics of every technology. So now we are focused more on hydroponics first, the substrate-based hydroponics. With this unconventional method here in Nigeria, crops can be grown any time of the year using minimum resources. But this push for urban farming isn't an idea that's welcome everywhere, according to Samson. Uh, when we started, the first major challenge was breaking the cultural and religious barrier. Uh, we are very traditional people slash religious people who believe everything that is not natural is satanic. So there was the first major barrier of getting people to understand that this was not anti-cultural, neither was this anti-religion, irrespective of the faith that you believe. And um, after that, the second part was trying to adapt the technology to our reality so that we do not have, so it's one thing to see a technology that works abroad, is another thing to adapt it to our reality. And then the third step was what we call ABCD, asset-based community development, which is a way to have a system that you can use by using locally available materials to ensure same results. So it's not about importing sensors, importing these and importing that. Instead, understand the principle, then look for materials that we have locally available to ensure easier adoption. And we realized that that went a long way because when we started initially and you had to import a whole lot of things, people saw it as foreign. And whatever we see as foreign when it comes to technology, we tend to see as expensive. It's 
soilless farming in simple terms. It's that simple. And the soilless farming is number one. With this, we are not using soil. So if you notice, we have about eight layers of plants growing. So what it simply means is for a soy-based farmer to do this same kind of production, they will need at least times eight of this kind of land to achieve same results. But here we are doing what we call vertical farming, taking advantage of the vertical space. Number two, because we are the one that is controlling the kind of substrate that we are using, we determine when we supply water. So with this, it's not like regular rain that you bring in so much water, the plant cannot use everything. So most of the water goes to waste. But here, whatever we supply is based on what the plant requires. And what this means in essence is, we are able to save on water by over 90%. In Nigeria, apart from oil, agriculture is another sector that provides for many Nigerians and employs a good percentage of the labor force. But several factors stifle the growth of the sector. Samson Ogwole is not the only innovative farmer in this space, but with his adoption of hydroponics to grow plants, this method can make just about anyone a farmer, thereby increasing food production and security.